I'm sitting here with Nanur, who is the wife of Hagop, the director here of the Evangelical Armenian School in Anjar. And I'm very happy to have you here. You're already six years here. Yes. A lot of time. How were the first six years? <laughs> I'm happy that you are here and you're most welcome. And thank you for this interview. Um, six years of interesting and challenging years. Uh, I call it uh, years full of miracles. At the beginning, there was the observation years and then seeing God's intervention in every um, work that we are doing in the details of our ministry. Especially, I can tell and talk about the boarding school. Um, in the six years, in the past six years, I have witnessed God's faithfulness in all the financial details in uh, each and every life of the co-workers that we have and in of course in the lives of the kids that we take care of I mean seeing their development their growth how they come here and then how they thrive and grow here is a uh, is the is a, is a, I think it's a testimony that God is with us and helping us through this journey. There you have a school yes. and you have a boarding yes. school. So how many children are um, going to the school? Yes, we have the school. Uh, we have 210 students, uh, out of which 82 students are boarders. Mm -hmm. The other are kids from Anjar, students from Anjar, and uh, they are gathered in the classrooms and they learn together and they mingle and they interact together. But 82 kids are from Beirut, Syria, Anjar also, uh, living in the boarding school, and uh, they have another story. <laughs> So you have um, you you have community work here, yes, and you have also work which is uh, more in the far. Why are students from Beirut coming to yeah. the Armenian school here? Yes, uh, this is um, part of the ministry of the Armenian Evangelical Church in Beir in uh, Anjar. I'm sorry. So the church has the school and the boarding school as its ministry. Why we have kids coming from Beirut? Because those kids come from troubled families. By troubled families, I mean uh, families, uh, parents are separated, divorced, or families in which uh, a child cannot grow and thrive in a healthy way. Um, we know that the best place for a child to grow is their family, but whenever we feel and we see and we assess, of course, uh, in coordination with social workers and centers in Beirut, whenever we assess that a child is not safe, is in, not in a safe place, this child will not be comfortable in the place that he or she is now, we make sure to tell them about the boarding school and give them the option and bring them here to help them, to guide them, to teach them about the love of Jesus Christ and to help them grow in a healthy environment. By healthy, I mean giving them spiritual care, academic care, social care and psychological care. Uh, all this happened with the coordination of the school administration and the boarding co-workers. We gather our efforts to help each and every child and of course, uh, who guides us is our Heavenly Father. You said you experienced miracles here. Was th that uh, the case also with these family, uh, f uh, special need kids? Yes. Um, miracles happen every day in small details and also um, in major, I mean, uh, having this ministry uh, going on through the toughest days and most critical days of our beloved, beloved country is a miracle and I, I appreciate uh, all the support and the donors that, that they are uh, supporting us uh, from abroad or from uh, inside. Um, and a miracle, uh, I can give one or two examples about kids. So. Uh, we were doing home visits in Beirut 
and uh, suddenly a family tells us that you know what there's another family living on their tent uh, on the rooftop of a building in Beirut in Burchamud one of the poorest areas in Beirut so we go and visit and when I entered the place it, it, it didn't look like a place where a child should be there was nothing safe the electrical wires were exposed the kids were um, sitting there they were malnourished and they were they were sad and one of the kids came and told me you know what uh, they, they told us that you're taking some kids to Anjar is there a rooftop there? Is there a bed there? Is there a kitchen there? Because they hadn't seen anything from this. They, uh, they have grown up under a tent and they don't know what a proper house looks like. So those four kids came to Anjar and now they are here. They didn't uh, have eye contact. They didn't know how to express themselves. They didn't know how to sit and eat properly. They used to eat with their hands. Um, and they didn't have that spark in their eyes, which I believe every kid should have. Um, on the first day when they came here, uh, they went to the worship session and they got to meet Jesus Christ. It was for the first time and they felt the love and the care and the love and the care that we are translating in a practical way we make sure that you know what we are doing this because God first loved us so we love you so when they experience the love and the care now they are thriving they are expressing themselves and they tell us we want to grow up and graduate from here and go and help other kids in the community for me this is a miracle I mean get, uh, and they have the spark in their eyes and they are talking about Jesus Christ isn't this a miracle you want to improve the miracles here you want to improve the work with these kind of destitute uh, families and yes. uh, children what is your dream about this what are you aiming to yes um, um, I talked about the boarding school uh, kids and I gave an example but for the past two years it was very difficult on the children and youth of Lebanon uh, in general because we lived the corona pandemic, we lived the harsh economic uh, crisis, we lived the Beirut port explosion and the consequences. Um, now whenever you walk in the streets or get uh, to know the youths and the children you will feel the anxiety, the depression um, they are not living the moment anymore the youths are not enjoying uh, the years their, their, their youth years um, that's why we have a dream of having a safe place a place where youth children not only from our uh, school and the boarding school can come from the village uh, in Anjar they can come feel comfortable and feel supported uh, a place where they can express and they can receive therapy um, by uh, of course all the time having uh, what Jesus Christ has taught us so the idea is to uh, have a place to support our youth and kids and of course women, elderly, everyone from the community uh, because we feel that all of them need to express themselves, all of them need a safe place, all of them need someone to guide them to express themselves. So this is a dream, a vision that we want to make it through. Do you have a headline for this vision? A place where they should not feel alone. They should feel that they are not alone. They are accompanied? Yes, and supported. Not in material ways, but um, supported spiritually, psychologically. Maybe some specialists uh, may work with us, but um, that this place should be a comfortable and a safe place and a confidential place where they can come express themselves without thinking or worrying what the other person is thinking about me. 
a place where they are accepted as they are with their weaknesses and uh, disabilities sometimes disorders so and where they get professional help, treatment and course, help yeah of course, uh, of course. since the uh, psycho uh, getting going to a psychologist is still a taboo we want to break this idea and mm. we, um, because we, we're assessing and we're seeing the needs of the kids and the youth and the people of the community, they need support. It sounds very attractive to me and if uh, I look a little bit at the um, situation here in Lebanon, I also find there's a deep need for that and you would do a real blessed work with that center, with uh, bringing together the professionals, with giving uh, this project a high profile and so on. Yes. What's the price? How much do you think that will cost? Approximately $50,000 per year. Okay, so and then you need the building, so yes, we're talking course. about yes. $150,000 yes. yes. for a start. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you very much. We Thank know you. now about your dream, which mm -hmm. is really gleaming, mm -hmm. and we know about the price. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing both, and with the long history here of this school, I think you are um, a perfect partner for an organization who wants to help the young Lebanese yes. here. Yes, I hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you.